Family and friends gathered in Springfield today to celebrate the lives of loved ones they have lost. Good evening once again to you. I'm glad you're here at 9. I'm David Oliver. Color Tents Madison Heaver up first tonight. She was at the event put on by Lost and Found Grief Center here in Springfield. Madison. Yeah, David, the Lost and Found Grief Center offers therapeutic grief support groups to families that have lost a loved one. Today, they celebrated many of those with a Run and Remember event. It is our 11th annual Run and Remember event. Jamie Fields is the development director for the Lost and Found Grief Center. It's a memorial walk run for people that have lost someone. And this year, more than ever, our families really needed a way to honor loved ones, especially with the changes that have happened with traditional memorial services. The event, which is normally right before Memorial Day, was rescheduled due to COVID-19. There's nothing else really like this around Memorial Day, not that this is Memorial Day this year, uh, just because of everything going on, um, but it, it just gives families and the community a chance to, to get together and remember. Hoping to encourage social distancing and give people a space to safely remember the person that they've lost. But we have planned, unplanned, and replanned multiple times but are thrilled with the turnout today. Everybody is respecting social distancing and having a great time. The event also featured a memorial garden with photos of families lost loved ones. Those are actual photos of people that have been lost and people walk down that path and share memories and thoughts of the person that they've lost. So it's been incredible to see the response that we've gotten there as well. People love coming out and seeing those pictures and you see a lot of, um, I mean, it's an emotional event, um, but it's something that we try and keep loose and light and happy. And yeah, it's it, people are out here for a sad reason, but it's also a, a good reason as well. That's one way Kyle Campbell benefited from today's event. I'm here today is to celebrate a, a lost friend named Ryan Wester. Uh, he's a dear friend to a lot of us. Um, was a great man, great athlete. Uh, there's a big person here in Springfield, Missouri, um, and a lot of people cared for him and loved him. I think it's good for healing. Uh, truth, I can tell you personally, after this, it was tough to kind of rebound. And then just having this as an outlet, it's nice to kind of pour out your emotions and things like that because losing somebody's tough, especially when it's all of a sudden. Lost and Found wanted to also thank all of its volunteers and sponsors that helped put on the event today.